Greetings. Um, one of the things that I'm really enjoying about this sort of series as I'm talking about my favorite bands is I'm getting a lot of my musician friends and a lot of people are coming up to me and contacting me and like, love this. And I started digging about, you know, Blue Oyster Cult or people who really didn't know about them. They only knew like the big hits. And they're like, I, I went out and researched this album and that album and I love it. It's fantastic. You know, thanks for turning me on to that. And, and, you know, some of them are like, yeah, I used to listen to Blue Oyster Cult back in the day. And, you know, Gordo's been getting some love. You know, it was, it was, it, it's it's really cool. It's really cool to see um, that the music's making an impact. And a lot of my music loving buddies are, you know, getting in touch with me and, and, and we're talking music, which is the greatest drug ever. And now since there's downtime, you know, why not listen? They're like, I'm digging albums out and listening and stuff like that. Well, this video is from my buddy, Bob Druskowski. Okay. Um, he's kind of a newer friend. I've met him through Uncle Rick, uh, R.H. Stamps, um, and uh, we sort of connected. We went to see uh, a couple of shows together. We went and saw, uh, fuck, Nick Mason's Saucer Full of Secrets. That was great. And, uh, you know, Bob is a great guy and a great music lover. And like I say, we've just recently met, but we've got a lot of degrees of separation. We all know a lot of people. He's originally from Niagara Falls, so he knows a lot of the Falls people. And Bob and I were talking, and he got a little cocky. He started to argue with me about certain albums that he had and what happened. And Bob said to me, and I said, I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to school you. I'm going to research it. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit I'm wrong. I'm not wrong here. Bob swears that the White Album by the Beatles... There was an alternative cover that came out that's limited edition. You can't find it anymore. Bob, you're wrong. It was only ever called The Beatles. It was only ever The White Album. What you're thinking about is Yesterday and Today, which was sort of a, 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 an amalgam of songs because in the North American side, they hacked up all the Beatles albums and the like you had the UK releases and the US releases were slightly different. So they released yesterday and today and grabbed all the pieces of the songs that they were kind of missing, you know, a couple from Help, a couple from Rubber Soul, um, that type of stuff that weren't included on the North American albums. And so that's the one with the dead babies on the cover. It was uh they called it the Butcher album because they felt like their their stuff got butchered in North America. And a little bit of trivia. It was, it was The artwork was designed by Robert Whitaker, photograph, photographer Robert Whitaker, on March 25th, 1966. Four years to the day before I entered this planet. So, tying it all together. Bob, you're wrong. White Album only ever had one cover. And if you feel it's had another cover, you need to prove it. Two, you're thinking it was Yesterday and Today, a.k.a. The Butcher Album. Three... Go visit Teddy Z. You haven't seen him in 10 years. I at least go see him once a year. Go visit him. He needs your love. Peace, everybody. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We'll talk smack online. Peace.